Okay, I'm hoping this thing actually goes to the play mode. There we go. Um, I'm going to finish 7A, which should be a really short video. Um, I want to review the parts of a nucleotide. Uh, we do have the phosphate and we have the sugar, which make up the backbone. We throw in the hydrogen bonds, which take the nitrogenous base pairs and puts them together like a adenosine and thymine. And then we make up the sugar and the phosphate into this silvery blue color, um, which is going to end up being the backbone of the DNA, the actual double helix part. And then we throw the nitrogenous bases, the complementary base pairs, adenosine or adenine and thymine, cytosine and guanine. Um, we throw those as nitrogenous base pairs. And we throw all three of those, the phosphate, the sugar, and the nitrogenous base, regardless of which one it is, and we call that a nucleotide. And then I wanted to show them again, we have the correct orientation for a nucleotide, the 5-3 strand, and then the other side is upside down, which a lot of uh, the individual um, diagrams don't show, but you can see that these letters are upside down because the phosphate's down here. It's actually a 3-5 strand. And then we can start building into the most amazing biological process. It's called the central dogma of biology, where the genetic code... Um, is actually in the DNA is altered with a gene to actually be taking to a, me a message from messenger RNA and actually moved to the ribosome outside of the nucleus to actually code for the amino acid chains, amino acid chains to be pe peptide bonded together uh, for the actual protein and that is the, the basic molecule of living things. Much more of that later. So what is DNA replication? DNA replication makes a copy of itself um, in interphase, and it's actually supposed to be in the S phase of interphase. And then why does DNA need to be, uh, need to replicate? Uh, when you actually go through mitotic division, where you take this chromosome and you move them to the middle and you split them apart, you end up with one copy of each. And if you try to go through mitotic division again, um, you're going to get two non-viable -vi uh, cells. And then the last thing where we talk about the DNA um, gets uncoiled, the DNA unzips and it unzips right along those hydrogen bonds. Um, each one of them will act as the template for the rest of them. So we have this DNA molecule that gets unzipped we get new, nuclear pa new nucleotide pairs, these blue things, which will line up with the individual sites. And this process is called semi-conservative because we're actually saving part of the old strand um, as we make the new strand. And we get two identical strands, uh, which is actually going to allow this cell to go through mitotic division again. And then we do enter into 7B, so that is the short section for 7A. Part two. Thank you much. Bye.